seven sorrows of our Mary. The first sorrow is Simeon's prophecy. Thy own soul a sword shall pierce. Today we can unite our hearts torn by the sorrows and tragedies with Mary's sword-pierced heart. The hearts of those whose countries are war-torn, where brother fights against brother, are pierced with the sword of sorrow and anguish. Even within God's family, we see strife today, prejudice, still burns churches from time to time. Second sorrow, the flight into Egypt. Mary and Joseph fled into Egypt with Jesus, sorrowing that he, the Son of God, was threatened and wanted. Their sufferings are shared by the many refugees in today's world, forced to leave their native land, to wander the earth rejected and unwanted. Children and adults with AIDS are also being rejected from schools and workplaces where they had developed a sense of belonging. Third sorrow, Jesus lost in the temple. As Mary and Joseph suffered the loss of Jesus, so many people, young and old, are crushed by a loss of faith in God. Consider life unbearable because it has no meaning. Earn to believe and cannot and are tempted and sometimes do commit suicide. Fourth sorrow of Mary, meeting with Jesus carrying his cross. As Mary's heart bleed with anguish, at seeing her son tortured and carrying his heavy cross, many families throughout the world have crushed hearts at what is done to their children. The physical and spiritual deprivations of the slums, the dangers of the gang warfare, the unjust arrests, the misery and horror of prison life, all these ring with anguish the hearts of mothers and fathers. The fifth sorrow of Our Lady, the crucifixion of our dear Lord. As Mary stood beneath the cross and watched her son suffer and die, her heart was united with his and she prayed for all those who suffer more at the agony of loved ones than at their own. All who are powerless to relieve suffer and whose heart are torn because of their helplessness, like parents whose children are kidnapped and murdered or who watch their adult children die each day in a sense because of addictions. Sixth sorrow of Our Lady, Jesus taken down from the cross, as Mary sat at the foot of the cross, cradling her dead son in her arms, her heart was united with people throughout the world who are devastating by the death of loved ones, especially the young who died suddenly of disease, accident or violence, and all loved ones whose death leaves a void in life. Seventh Sorrow Jesus is laid in the sepulchre. As Mary watched her dead son being placed in the sepulchre, the placing of the rock before the entrance was like the thrusting of another sword into her heart. Now his suffering was over, but her loneliness began. Mary's heart was united to people deprived of loved ones who have to withstand in describable emptiness and live the long bitter years of loneliness. Mother of Sorrows, have compassion on them and grant us the privilege to be present to them. Great as the seas was her sorrow, but great as the sea is her compassion and her hope for resurrection. Thank you for watching.